let's just start from the beginning. Tell me about the first time you received a dick pic. <laughs> so I think the first one I ever got was in college, and I was in a sorority, and it was from just another guy in a fraternity. And it was just kind of like a one-off, like, why did you send me this? It was just like in the middle of the day. Via text? Just via text. But it was like someone I wasn't even like dating seriously. And I was just like, why is this happening to me? I'm Jane Marie. This is DTR, a branded podcast from Tinder about defining relationships in the digital age. As you might have already picked up on, today we're talking about dick pics. Pictures of dicks, also known as DPs. Love notes of the modern era. If you've been off the market for a while, you may have dodged the DP phenomenon altogether. But let me tell you, receiving a pic is a regular part of dating now, and often a confusing one, sometimes an alarming one. So in this episode, we'll talk to people who like them, folks who don't, and try to figure out why they are even a thing. Because there's a central dilemma here. Dick pics are a product with a huge supply. Dudes send them all the time, but very little demand. Women we talk to say they don't want them, and yet there's a thriving economy. What's going on here? We're going to figure it out. Right at the top of the show, I have a confession to make. I actually like dick pics. Anyone who knows me wouldn't be surprised by that. But I understand that not all of them are wanted, and some can even feel threatening or scary. So before we get back to cracking jokes with our guests, I want to let you know about some resources that can help you if you're feeling harassed or unsafe by someone sending you stuff like this. You can go to our website, gimletcreative.com. We've posted some articles and resources about sexual harassment, and you can find them in the show notes for this episode. If this is happening to you on Twitter or Facebook or other social media, you can also report the offender to those companies. And you should know that Tinder does not allow the sending of any photos within their app. So we're here to say, please use caution when giving out your phone number or contact info to people you don't know. Listen to that voice in your head if it's saying, this doesn't feel like a good idea. And one more thing, this episode will be explicit. So hide your kids, hide your wife. All right, now that that serious business is taken care of, let's make fun of people with penises. So Katie, the woman you heard from at the top of the show, she receives lots of DPs. It just keeps happening. I don't look like someone that, like, receives dick pics. Like, I don't give off that, like, sexy, like, send me your D, like, vibe, you know? I don't know what that vibe is, but I just don't think I send that off. But, like, I'm really outgoing and, like, bubbly, so I think that just, like, makes people feel comfortable. Um, a comfortable enough to send a dick pic, I guess. Recently, Katie was at the airport flying from New York to L.A. when she bumped into a vaguely familiar face. You know, someone that you would only say hi to when you're sitting there and have nothing else to do. You, mm -hmm. I wouldn't, like, go seek him out at the airport, like, oh, shit, there he is. This is, like, a fringe friend. Like, you saw a face at the airport, and you were like, yeah, I know we that face. Yeah, we the same flight, and we were like, oh, hey, you. And um, we weren't even, like, we didn't have each other's phone numbers. It was just, hey, how are you? What's up? Good. Where are you going? Me too. Cool. Like, safe flight. See ya. So they get on the plane. Katie goes to her seat. The fringe friend goes to his. Katie isn't even sure where he was seated. That's how much she didn't care about this guy. She gets settled, shuts off her phone, and falls asleep. Impressively, she slept most of the flight. And so it wasn't until she got in a cab and checked Facebook that she realized the dude, he'd had an entirely different impression of their brief hello. He must have, like, just got this really genius idea <laughs> to go into the bathroom and snap DPs and send them to me on Facebook chat. I mean, I didn't get them until I got off the plane. So he sent me, like, two, and... <laughs> Why two? I don't know. Were they different? <laughs> <laughs> not really. There's not that much room in there. He couldn't have, like, posed or How anything. did you know he was in the bathroom? Um, well, you could tell because the, like, seat was right there <laughs> and the lighting was terrible. And I'm like, I mean, you could have at least filtered this. I don't think I even said anything back. I just didn't know what I would say. Like, thanks? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck? Bizarre, right? What was he thinking? That she'd get the pics and join the Mile High Club with him in the bathroom? That she'd see them and ask what hotel he was staying at during his trip? Who knows? Well, actually, scientists do, which we'll get to in a bit. Katie said she immediately deleted those pictures. 
after I asked her if I could see them. And that's what she's done pretty consistently. Just hit the little trash icon and tried to forget about them. All but one. There's one dick pic that Katie got eight years ago. Eight. That made such an impression, she and her friends are still passing it around to this day. We still pass it around, like, as a joke. Someone will be like, it's an emergency, need the dick pic. And someone will, like, find it and send it, like, to this day. Can you ask for it? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta. Need the DP, it's an emergency. Need the DP, it's urgent. Okay. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Someone says, I got you. Oh, there it is. (laughs) How can I miss it? It's a fucking Empire State Building of a dick. Dear God, that is terrifying. So I'm going to show you now. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Very, very ready. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) I have a 7 plus, and it takes up the whole screen. Not to brag about my cool phone, but it takes up the entire screen. It's nice. Yeah. Look at the way he's holding it. So gingerly. I know. (laughs) And I think it's the way his pinky looks. It's like he's sipping a fine cup of tea. Actually, before I came here, I was at a party on Friday, and I was talking to a bunch of guys, and I was like, oh, I'm going to be talking about dick pics. Um, Do you send those to people? Like, without the girl, you know, being like, hey, babe, show me, show me your stuff. Um, They're like, no. They all, they all said no. They all claimed that they don't do that. But I'm like, well, someone has to because I'm receiving them. When we went into this episode, we assumed most women were like Katie. Like, thanks, but no thanks. But that assumption was based really on nothing other than gender stereotypes. Like I said, I love receiving DPs, mainly because they're a shortcut to knowing whether someone's into me. It totally takes the pressure off. And then I don't really have to worry about impressing him that much because clearly he's buying what I'm selling. But am I alone in my fandom? We sent our producer, Caitlin Boguki, out into the streets of Manhattan to find out if I'm weird, if women really don't like seeing pictures of dicks for the most part, or if men are weird and are sending photos of their erections out into the universe for no reason. Maybe we're all weird. Have you ever sent a dick pic? A what? A photo of your penis. Yes. Uh, yeah, but it was only in response to one. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Um, yes. Why'd you send it? So many reasons. Uh, you want to get a pic back? Uh, yes, I have. It's kind of irritating because it's like you got to find the perfect position and the picture that you like and everything before you send it out. So, you know, like it's kind of annoying sometimes. I'm not going to lie. Five today. Five today. And they say women don't like dick pics, but I, I don't know. I, I can't imagine how they win. I mean, it's a dick pic. A, dicks are gross. B, I think that it would be better if I asked for it. I'd rather have a nice text message where it's just more about our relationship or the love or whatever. I've gotten one. Like, that's just part of a relationship now, right? I have received, I would say, upwards of a dozen dick pics. It's gross. If I ask for it, then send it to me. But if I didn't ask for it, don't send it to me. Just don't. Take me out to dinner before you're sending me a photo of your dick. I guess I am weird because something here doesn't add up. Caitlin talked to more than 40 people on the street in New York that day. Pretty much every woman had received a dick pic, but only two of them said they actually liked getting them. But nearly every single man she spoke to had sent one. See, the economics of it just don't make sense. Is there something about simply having a dick that makes you need to show it off? Turns out, yeah, sort of. Dick havers of many kinds are just wired that way. During courtship, males um, display their penis, and sometimes in some species the penis is very brightly colored. The, the, the penis seems to be used as a, 
as a kind of display ornament. This is Dr. Menno Schielthausen, professor of evolution and biodiversity at Leiden University in the Netherlands. He's the author of Nature's Nether Regions, which is all about the evolution of reproductive organs in animals and people. The brightly colored penises he's talking about belong to various monkey species, like the squirrel and proboscis monkey, who love to show them off, which makes me wonder, what are the females getting out of this? They're probably uh, assessing the genital shape or the color pattern as part of the whole package that the male presents to them. So for these female monkeys, seeing the genitals before you commit to a mate is sort of like a routine part of the research. And it's not just monkeys. Other animals do this sort of thing, too. Dr. Schielthausen says that the male mosquito fish, a relative of the humble guppy, also uses genital exposure as a mating tactic. In their case, too, the female mosquito fish are paying attention, specifically looking for larger genitals. So should we all be creating a binder full of dick pics, using them as research to suss out every potential mate? No, that's crazy. According to Dr. Schielthausen, these animals are presenting the entire package to the females, like in real life. Dick pics don't accomplish the same thing. Yeah, there's no way to to add more information to to just that picture, whereas in the the traditional exhibitionism, there was always... Uh, more that a woman could see besides just the shape of the penis. So I don't think any female, human or otherwise, would would select a male on such a limited uh, bit of information. An out-of-context dick pic tells you nothing. And that's true for monkey, fish or human. A pic of the package does not a full package make. The research isn't limited to monkeys and perverted guppies. In 1953, Alfred Kinsey published a book called Sexual Behavior in the Human Female. Remember Kinsey? He's the guy who said the world isn't just made up of gay people and straight people, but there's like a spectrum. In one of his studies, Kinsey asked women whether they were turned on at all by observing dicks. More than half, 52%, they didn't just say no, but they said never. More than half of the women reported never being turned on by looking at a dick. And Kinsey wrote that many women were, quote, surprised to learn that there is anyone who finds the observation of male genitalia erotically stimulating. But for the dudes in Kinsey's study, it was almost completely reversed. They loved looking at their own dicks. 56% of them reported being turned on by looking at their own genitals. The men in that Kinsey study couldn't fathom that women wouldn't want to look at dicks. Like, it was just baffling to them. Quote, It is difficult for most males to comprehend that females are not aroused by seeing male genitalia. Some males never come to comprehend this. You don't say. The takeaway from all this, straight guys, you know the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. This does not apply to your dick or snapshots of it. You might love pics of your dick, but that doesn't mean women do. But we did want to talk to someone who does have a genuine appreciation for a good dick pic. So we found Max, who told us that for lots of the guys he hooks up with, it's just a routine part of the process. In this economy of penises, you have to, you have to, you know, you have to trade. It's a barter system. You, you have to, you know, you want to see a dick, you got to send a dick. So you're obviously a fan. I'm a fan. Uh, yeah, I've, I've done my, you know, Malcolm Gladwell 10,000 hours of dick pics, you know, sending and receiving. Uh, definitely, mm. definitely. You know, first of all, like, I'll look at any penis. I'll look at any. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. Let's like, be honest. Yeah. So when did you take your first dick pic? Um, (laughs) probably when I got my first iPhone, which would have been in, uh, about six years ago, I I, I guess. You know, I I don't think I had done it. 24 years old. I was 24 years old. Living in New York. Living in New York, not impressing anyone with a picture of my penis. You know, but, but, but trying. Are you sure? 
It's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm being very honest. I mean, it's like a, I always say it's like a Toyota Camry. You know, like a Toyota Camry is like the best-selling midsize sedan in America for, for over 30 years. It's very reliable. You know, the Avalon is too big for some people's garages and, and the Corolla is too small. How do you elicit the dick pic? Or does it just fly into your phone? Uh, generally, the etiquette would be um, you write pics, question mark. The etiquette. <laughs> or, or, you know, I, some people don't even bother to put a question mark. If you just start sending the dicks right away, it's it, that's something that turns you on. You know, that's it's not about getting someone else off. If I just, if I haven't had any message from you before, I just see like, hey, bro. And then like get like, you know, and for never, ever bro me. Don't ever, but like, but don't, but, and then just get like, you know, 10 pictures of a penis. Like that's, that's about like what you're into. That's not about what, it's not about turning someone else on. No one wants to, probably no one wants to see that dick. Have you talked to women about this and how have they reacted? Oh, I mean, I think most women who know gay men are aware that this is going on all the time. And a lot of women I know who get dick pics don't seem to enjoy them. And I'll, I'll tell this to straight guys out there who think you're real cool sending a woman a dick pic who doesn't want to see it. You know what? If she's got gay friends, there's a good possibility she's passing that on. So, like, you know, be aware, tough guy. And that brings us to the main complaint we heard from women regarding dick pics. It's creepy and gross to get one that you didn't ask for. In that way, dick pics are just like any other sexual interaction. Unless we're saying yes loud and clear, leave us alone. I'm saying most women I know don't seem to want to see them. So, you know, if you're a straight guy, I would say be aware of um, whether or not a woman wants to see your dick. When you say you don't get them unsolicited, like, what do you do to solicit them? Ask. You, like, literally, can I see your dick? But but you're saying the main takeaway is that most of these are asked for and that women don't ask for them that much, so straight guys shouldn't send them unless they're asked. Yeah, it's a consent issue. <laughs> yeah. You know, know your audience, you know. Do you know this woman well enough to think that she is interested in seeing your penis, eh? Uh, or if she's seen it before, do you really think she wants a photo of it? Um, right. And... Uh, if she's like, you know, a cool, horny gal like yourself, send it. But if she's um, indica- she's not indicated that she's into that, uh, maybe you should keep that to yourself. I'm disappointed in the lack of academic dick pic research studies. Somebody get on that. So we can't know for sure if Max is right. But... Max is saying pretty much the same thing as that Kinsey research from the 50s. Just because you're into something doesn't mean that someone else will be. And you should care about that. Because one, don't be a creep. And two, do you actually want a response? Do you want a chance with the person receiving your text? Because if you're sending an unsolicited DP, you're probably not going to get one. There is this one last study I want to tell you about. It's one of the most interesting things I read about women and boners. It's from 1974, and it's a study by Manfred DiMartino called Sex and the Intelligent Woman, which I just love the title of that. He surveyed 327 female Mensa members about their sexual habits and attitudes, and he found that if you ask women to picture an erection, most responded positively. Many of them mentioned their partner or husband, so there was this kind of bell curve with, like, teenagers and much older women claiming less interest. But between the ages of, like, 20 to 49, 70% of the women were like, yeah, I like it. They used words like handsome and amazing and exciting to describe erections. One woman even described a hard-on as absolutely beautiful, a throne for a queen. But these women were just picturing hard-ons in their heads— They weren't actually looking at photos. They certainly weren't looking at a disembodied dick on their phone all of a sudden in the middle of the day when they were, like, eating a sandwich at their desk or something. I'm apparently the only one who actually does like that. So I'm an outlier, whatever. What I can say about the rest of the straight ladies out there is this. They like dicks, but they don't really need the pics.
Remember, Tinder is a pick-free zone. You can't send photos of anything. Nudity, landscapes, your cat, nothing. So if you feel like you're getting sexually threatening messages online or messages that make you feel unsafe or uncomfortable, just remember, on lots of social media, you can report those users. You can also go to our website, gimletcreative.com. We've posted some articles and resources about sexual harassment. You can find them in the show notes for this episode. DTR is a branded podcast from Tinder, produced in partnership with Gimlet Creative. This episode was produced by me, Jane Marie, along with Caitlin Boguki, Nicole Wong, and Francis Harlow. Creative direction from Nasanin Rafsanjani.